Hey guys, Jen here. Uh, for those of you who aren't familiar with me, I am an author and I am a strategy success mindset and manifestation marketing coach for emerging 1% authors who want to create their dream writing lives all on their terms. I'm actually doing a 10 day live stream challenge with a group that I'm part of. And so this is the very first one. And today I just wanted to talk about what to do when you don't feel like writing. Cause I think this happens to us a lot as writers. Like sometimes we're totally on, we're just gung ho about it. We're super excited. We just want to get to the page so we can start writing. And then there are other times when we don't and we feel like, I don't know what to write. I don't want to stare at this blank page. And we come up with all these excuses for why we don't have time or why we shouldn't write or why we're not inspired or whatever. And I just wanted to kind of go through what you should do when that happens. Cause I think first of all, that's never going to not happen because it's just part of being a writer. It's just part of being a creative person is you're eventually going to come to a point where you don't feel like writing or you don't feel like doing something that day. And that's okay. Cause obviously sometimes it's going to happen, but the point you need to figure out is, is this resistance or is this something else? So if it's resistance and that's resistance basically means you know you want to do something, you know you're meant to be doing something or you really want to do it. It's just that you're resisting it for some reason. Maybe it's because you know it's going to change something for you. Maybe you're resisting it because you're afraid or maybe because you just are doubting yourself in some way or whatever. But the idea is resistance is never going to go away. We're always going to have a resistance to doing that work that feels um, important to us, to doing the work that fuels our soul. And writing for me, and I'm sure for you as well, is is that thing. So I have a lot of resistance to my writing, but I've found ways to push through because honestly, you can't not push through. I mean, pro writers don't have the luxury of sitting around and waiting for inspiration. Pro writers have to write all the time and constantly on, on deadline and, and make stuff happen because otherwise they're not going to hit their goals. They're not going to make money. They're not going to do the things they need to do as professional writers, right? So it's so really a couple of questions you can ask yourself. So obviously the first is, is this resistance? So if you know you're supposed to be writing or you have something you have to work on and you're not doing it or you're avoiding it, procrastinating on it, the first thing to ask yourself is, is this resistance? So if it is resistance and you know that that's the only thing stopping you in that moment and it's just, it's either you're afraid or you're feeling doubt or whatever, that is the moment to force yourself to take action. So a lot of times when I have that happen and I know like I'm resisting something or I'm not really going all in with it, then I will just really force myself to do something. So I'll set my timer for like 15 or 20 minutes and then I will tell myself I'm going to write until this timer goes off. And then when it goes off, I can do something else. I can, you know, stop writing if I don't feel like doing it anymore, but I'm at least going to write for that time, you know, before the timer goes off. And the reason is because a lot of times with resistance, the only thing that will actually push through is to just take action. And so you have to force yourself sometimes and yeah, it sucks and you don't want to do it. And maybe you'll set the timer for 15 minutes and you won't actually get anything done. But the point is you at least tried something and you didn't just let the resistance get to you. Cause what ends up happening with resistance a lot of times is you just keep, keep letting it happen. So one day you resist your writing. Okay, fine. But then if you keep doing it every day, all of a sudden you're building this consistency of not doing your writing and of being resistant to creating the stuff you know you want to be creating. And so that is always the first thing to ask yourself when you don't feel like writing. Is this resistance? Um, the next thing is, what do I need in this moment? And I wrote some questions down so that I don't forget. What do I need in this moment? So a lot of times, if it's not resistance, there may be something else you need in this moment. So for example, if I've been working really hard, like let's say a lot of days in a row, I've been getting up early, I've been doing my writing, I've been you know on track and making everything happen. And then I've come to a point where I'm resisting doing the writing or I feel like I just don't feel like this right now and I don't want to do it. I may have to ask myself, what do I need in this moment? So maybe I need to sleep or maybe I need to eat something, or maybe I just need to take a walk outside for a little while and get some fresh air. So just ask yourself, what do I need in this moment? Sometimes the answer is sit down and do the writing. And if that is the answer that comes to you, sit down and do the writing because you intuitively know what it is that you need at all moments. And you just have to really ask yourself and get clear on what it is that you really need. So, you know, if you do need something other than to just push through, like if you maybe have been working too hard, you've been working too much, maybe or writing too much. And all of a sudden you're just feeling that like, I don't really want to do this today. Well, it could just mean that you need some sort of a nourishment of some kind. So you could just need to do some self care, maybe exercise or meditate or something like that. So just kind of get yourself back into the, the feeling of wanting to do your writing. And then the other thing is, do I need to push through this? So that's the third question I would say to ask yourself, do I need to push through this? So 
for me, a lot of times, if I'm resisting, if I feel like I'm not wanting to write, or if I feel just like, oh, I don't want to do this right now, a lot of times I have to push through it anyway. And, and you really will have to as well. And again, it's going to come down to the answer from question two, which is what do I need in this moment? But if you know what you need in this moment is to just shut up and do the work, which is usually the case, um, that's what you need to do then. You need to answer question three. Do I need to push through this? Yes. And to do that, again, you can set a timer and just make it really short. So 15 minutes, sit down and do your writing. And then after the 15 minutes is done, you can either continue or you can move on to something else. But the point is you push through that resistance to not want to write or that feeling of I don't want to do this and you did it. And so a lot of times if you do that, the resistance will go away and you'll actually get started and keep wanting to keep writing in that moment. And if not, then you go do something else. But the point is you didn't let it take over. You actually did something about it and you actually pushed through. And that's what you got to do because there are going to be days where you don't feel like writing. And probably there are going to be a lot of days that you don't feel like it. It happens to all of us, including people who do it professionally. We all feel that way. But if you are a pro writer and if you want to be a pro writer, you have to push through because pro writers do not wait for inspiration. Pro writers do not you know, sit around and not do their writing when they don't feel inspired or when they don't feel like doing it. They sit down and they do it because that is part of what helps them be pro writers. So if you have a daily practice, you do that practice no matter what, even when you don't feel like it. And of course, some days you may not come up with anything. Some days your writing may suck, but the point is you push through and you did something and you did not let the resistance take over. So those are my tips for pushing through and, you know, doing the writing anyway, even when you don't feel like it. Now, a lot of times if you are to a place where you do need something other than pushing through, like you may just need to take a nap or take a walk or something, don't not, you know, do the writing, do those things first. So go meditate or go take a nap for a little while or go for a walk and then come back and do the writing because it's, it's connection. So it's not just about in this moment, I need something other than to push through. Okay, but now come back to the page and do your writing because you don't ever want to not do your writing just because you don't feel like it. So do something that's going to make you feel better and then go do your writing. So I hope this was helpful and just a short little live stream to give you some ideas on what you can do when you don't feel like writing. And I'm going to be doing more live streams. Like I said, I'm doing a challenge, so I'm going to be doing one every day for the next 10 days. And I'm actually doing a live stream tomorrow afternoon at 1 p.m. Eastern that's going to be all about how to write and publish your nonfiction ebook in only 10 days. So you can check that out tomorrow. Just come back to the same page right here and you can find it at 1 p.m. Eastern and there'll be a recording as well if you don't miss it or if you miss it, I mean. And um, I'm going to be doing more live streams the next, you know, 10 days. So be sure to check them out and I will catch you next time.